Welcome to the Penrith Solar Centre Solar Academy. Today we're going to be diving into one of the biggest decisions that you will make when installing a solar system on your home. Who should install the new solar system? An in-house installation team or a sales company that uses subcontractors to install their work? In this video, you're going to learn exactly what an in-house installation team does and what a subcontracting team does. You're going to learn the pros and cons of each, and by the end of it, you'll know which team's right for you. Let's break it down. What exactly are in-house installers and what exactly are subcontractors? Well, in-house installers, they take care of everything from answering your questions pre-sales to setting up your solar system. They're certified, they're accredited, and they offer a complete service. The really good in-house installers even have their own dedicated service team so that you're confident that for the life of your solar system, there's always going to be someone there to help you and point you in the right direction. Subcontractors, on the other hand, always work for a solar sales company. Now, some solar sales companies might have an electrician on the books, but it's actually really unlikely, versus the in-house installation company, which will generally have a ton of electricians working in their office. Subbies or solar sales companies will go out there, they will sell the solar system, and then they will employ a paid by the panel subcontractor to come and install it on your home. Now the subby doesn't really know anything about the job. He or she is solar accredited. You must be solar accredited to install a solar system in New South Wales. But they've been paid by the panel. So technically, the quicker they do the job, the more they actually get paid. Now, subbies are quite well known for trying to do two jobs in one day. In fact, it's pretty rare if they don't. So they'll get to your house, they'll pump your job from seven till 11, then they've got another job booked in from 12 till four. The thing is with subcontractors who are working at that pace is yes, they're getting paid a lot of money, but they're not necessarily getting paid a lot of money to make good choices. When people have in-house installation crews, it's actually really rare to ever see them try and do two jobs in one day. In fact, at Penrith Solar Centre, we never get our installation crews to do two jobs in one day. What we want to do is allocate a fair and reasonable amount of time to that job so that the team leader on the day can make the best decisions that he possibly can whilst working on your home. But there are pros and cons to both, and maybe there are really good reasons why you'd use a subcontractor. Maybe there are great reasons why you'd use in-house. Let's look a little deeper into the pros and cons. Let's start with the in-house installation teams. And we'll start with the pros. Some of the biggest pros by using in-house installation teams is that they know their products inside and out. If a company is clever enough to be able to train their own electricians and deliver the greatest renewable energy experience possible, they're normally clever enough to only specialize in one product and do it over and over and over again. This drives efficiencies and you can rest assured that no one will know that product greater than that company. The next pro is quality control. You see, because the in-house installation company handles everything from start to finish, they're also responsible for the quality of the installation. Great in-house installation companies will also have a training facility and a full-time technical trainer, like what we do here at Penrith Solar Center. But the quality doesn't just end in what you see as the finished product. You see, the quality runs deep in the veins of the install. I'm talking, what cable did they select? The circuit breaker that got put in your switchboard, was it Hagar or was it some $2 circuit breaker that's going to last five years? Did they use silicon on your roof or did they use 25 year Sikaflex? Did they use a proper deck tight when sealing your roof or was it simply just silicon? Long after the price is forgotten, the quality will stick around and hopefully by making a great choice, stand the test of time. Another advantage of in-house installation teams is that they are great for complex projects. Because in-house installation teams actually have electricians in the office, they'll be able to design the system to the best of their ability. They'll be able to put a great amount of time into researching the best solution for you and coming up with engineering strategies that will be perfect for complicated installations or long-term projects like big commercial projects. 
Another pro of in-house installation teams is that because the company selling you the gear is the same people that are installing it, they really, really care about development and ongoing training of their team. So companies like ours will always have our reps like Enphase and Tesla come out and do on-site training. Now, whilst it's all seeming really, really good, there is a con to in-house installation teams. And the con is simply higher labor costs due to their expertise, quality control, and having full-time team members on the books. At Penrith Solar, we have the absolute privilege to pay our team members weekly. We pay their superannuation contributions once a month and they get four weeks of annual leave every single year. Not to mention, if they work back, they get paid overtime, prim and proper according to the electrical award. So there are higher labor costs when using highly qualified and trained team members. But are you willing to roll the dice on cost of labor? It's something that you'll have to work out yourself. Let's move on to the pros and cons of using subcontractors. Let's start with the pros first. The first pro and the biggest pro is lower cost. Since they work project by project, they're actually often cheaper than using in-house installers. The other reason that they're cheaper is because they get more than one job done per day. So subbies are usually working 10 hour days, they will get two installs done in the day, and that means they can afford to be a little cheaper per install than if they were just doing one install per day. The other pro to subcontractors is if you value time, then they work lightning fast. Because they're paid by the panel, the quicker they get the job done, the sooner they're off your site or out of your home, and the quicker they can get to the next job. Now, let's talk about the cons of using the sales and subby model. First up is we wanna talk about expertise. Now, to be fair, not all subcontractors fell from the sky yesterday. You might get really lucky and get a subcontractor who's done thousands of installs and he could be really up to date on the technology that they're installing. Chances are slim though, most subbies won't actually be up to date on the latest and greatest solar technology, which means any advice given on site could be shady at best. The same goes with their actual physical experience. It could be that subcontractor's very first install and you would not have a clue because they're licensed, of course, and they've got their CEC accreditation, so they can actually go and install solar almost wherever they want. At Penrith Solar Centre, we have an in-house training facility so that we guarantee everyone that works on your site has actually been through the training facility, got hands-on training by our technical trainer, Rob, and is able to rock up to your site and know exactly what's going on and what needs to be done and understands the best way of doing your install. Sometimes you'll drive past houses and you'll look at a solar install and you'll think, man, that looks garbage. Or you might see a bit of conduit that jumps over a ridge and you might think, that looks really lazy. Did they really just put that on the front of their one and a half million dollar home? And see, the problem is, is the homeowner may not have actually known that was gonna happen. There might have been a subcontractor that rocked up on the day. They might not have even had a physical plan to go off. They get there, they measure up, they slap it up, they think about wiring it after they've already done the install. And what happens is a lot of corrugated conduit draped all over your beautiful home. That is a risk that is far too dicey to take. And that is something that happens when rolling the dice on how experienced your solar installer is. The next is simply quality control, which does roll on from experience. There's not much quality control that happens in a sales and subcontracting world. I mean, the subcontractor gets paid by a panel, the sales company has no motivation or reason to actually ever go back to that site. So who's going back and doing the quality control anyway? Are there any standards on what circuit breakers, cables, silicons, ceiling agents used on your roof? Who's buying them and who's responsible for that? Well, most of those products I just listed is actually going to be bought by the subcontractor. You gotta remember, the subcontractor's name is not on your install forever. Their name is on your electrical compliance certificate, but as far as you're concerned, you bought the solar off ABC Solar Co. So the subby doesn't really mind what they use. In fact, the cheaper it is, the more money they're going to make. The next con on my list is service issues. 
If the sales company who sold you your solar uses installation subcontractors for install, what chance do you think that they are going to have an in-house service department? Well, I can tell you now it's slim to none. And when service issues arise, and they will arise, who's going to stand up and take the blame? Or who's going to take responsibility for your problem? Here's how it's going to look. You're going to call ABC Solico who sold you the system and expect after sales service. They're going to say, well, actually, the subby that we used for that job was John Grimes down the road. Now, John did a great job of your install, but John also gets paid by the panel. And the thing with John is, is that he doesn't do service work and he doesn't want to do service work. So good luck getting Sir John back to your site. Eventually, you'll be in a hurricane of excuses, blame, and finger pointing as to who's going to come back and fix the problem that you have in the first place. I can tell you now at Penrith Solar Center, we have a full-time installation team of four highly talented trained electricians and apprentice electricians. These guys are on the road every single day and we wear our service hat with pride. When someone calls to lodge a service call, you'll be blown away by the attention to detail that goes into our after sales service and just how quickly we can sort your problem out. In fact, I'd go to the extent of saying it is a priority of ours and our service department is something that we are really proud of and have put a lot of time and attention into. So for the sales and subby model, that is a con. One of the other really big cons of using the sales versus subcontractor model is simply where are they from? At Penrith Solar Center, we are Western Sydney locals and we are extremely proud of it. We don't offer solar in Queensland, we don't go to South Australia, and we certainly don't try and sell solar anywhere that we can't do a service call in in one day, which means we've got to be able to safely drive to the site carry out the installation or the service call and drive home in the same day. Otherwise, we quite simply don't do it. In the past, I've heard of people saying to me, Jake, this company has a huge office in Queensland. They're really good. Or these guys are Melbourne based. They've been doing it forever and a day. Well, I've got a news flash for you and this may surprise you. Penrith Solar Center is the largest company in Australia that uses in-house installation crews. So whilst it might seem really pretty and glitzy to get a company from Queensland to do your solar system for four grand, don't expect that there's gonna be any after sales service or any quality control when they're sitting on the beach at Marucci Door and you're getting your installation done in Western Sydney. There's a little bit of common sense that needs to be applied here. Local tradespeople will always deliver a better solution than someone from interstate. You now know the decision-making process that I came up with when deciding to be an installation and sales company all in the one umbrella, when back then no one was doing that model. I seen the advantages. It was really, really clear to me that this was how we delivered the greatest renewable energy experience possible. Now you've got all this information and it's up to you to make the final decision. Are you willing to roll the dice on low quality, lack of expertise, or are you willing to potentially pay the small premium that's involved with installing professionals who do this every single day and will stand up to the test of time? We'll be here to service you long term and you can rest assured that we will always be based in the heart of Penrith. It's in our name. Whether you want to put your money into in-house installers or you want to go the subcontractor route. It's a crucial thing to think about. And another pro tip for you is in the order of hierarchy of importance when selecting a solar installer, the right panel for your home, the right inverter for your home and battery, it goes in the following order. The installer is the number one most important thing to decide on when installing solar. You see, I've seen the poorest of products installed the best in the last 10 years. I've also seen what was considered to be the best products on the market installed by someone who just simply didn't know what they were doing and be ripped off after only three years. Your choice of installer is so important. Next up is the inverter, then the panel, then of course, if you're lucky enough to add on 
battery storage, make the decision on battery storage. There's more information on solar inverters, batteries and panels in all of our other videos. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this information and gaining an insight as to when Penrith Solar Centre was being built and why we chose to revolutionise the solar industry with in-house installers. I really hope that this guide has given you great insight into why you would choose a company that uses in-house installation teams or maybe if you're a bit budget conscious why you might choose subcontractors. Again, I'm Jake from the Penrith Solar Centre. I'll see you on the next one.